Hey, what's good, everyone? So, uh, happy New Year. By the time this goes up, it'll be really close to New Year's. I'm streaming when uh, it hits 12 a.m., so if you want to come check that out, I'm live now. But anyway, I'm talking about something today. Like, you know a situation where you don't have to get involved, and then you do, and you fuck yourself over, and you feel really dumb? I did that to the fullest extent in 2016, okay? So this happened back in April. I woke up. I made myself some coffee, which I normally never do. I usually can just wake up without it, but for some reason I was so fucking tired. But on this day, I actually needed to go out and get a keyboard for my friend. It was my friend's birthday in a week, so I needed to go out and get a keyboard for him. I was just going to go to Best Buy in like the gaming section and get him something. So I go to Best Buy with my friend. For anyone that doesn't know what Best Buy is, I'm sure most of you do. It's just a tech store, and they got like video games, video game hardware, computers, iPad, like all that shit. You know what I mean? Just tech stuff. I was there looking at keyboards. I didn't even fucking know what to get. I was just looking around. And then I saw one that I liked. I grabbed it, figured I'd buy it for him. And I get it. And I go back to the computer section because that's where my friend was. He was like wandering around the computer section looking at gaming PCs because he really wanted one. So I was back there looking. And the aisle over, I was tall enough to kind of look over the aisle on my toes. I kind of stood on my toes and I looked an aisle over. And I see this like 14, maybe 15 year old kid standing in front of one of the computers, like the desktop home PC things, standing there using it in front of the monitor. And I could only see this kid's back in the back of his head. I couldn't see the monitor because, you know, he was in the way using it. But to be fair, it really wasn't any of my fucking business. And I figured he was just checking his Facebook or on YouTube or something like I would always do on these computers. I would like go on them and open my channel or like go on them and open other YouTube channels and watch stuff. But anyway, we stayed in that aisle that we were already in for a while looking at computers. My friend was looking at the gaming computers that were back there. And then we went one aisle over to where that kid was. And he immediately, like, hugged the monitor. When we walked into his aisle, he hugged the monitor. And, like, he was trying to hide something. He was definitely trying to hide whatever was on the screen. Now, in reality, most people looking at him would just probably think, wow, that kid's trying to have sex with a desktop PC. But we could tell he was trying to hide something. And we didn't really pay any attention to him because we didn't want to, like, you know, weird him out or whatever because it was already kind of weird as it was that he was trying to hide the monitor by hugging it and, like, hiding it from us, you know? So we didn't look at him at all. We just looked right away. And my friend just started looking at the MacBooks. And he's still over there, like, hugging that monitor. And we looked at the MacBooks for about 20 seconds before this kid just runs away. He straight up stopped hugging the monitor and ran away. He just ran in the other direction, away from that computer that he was at and away from that aisle where we were. And we couldn't even see him. He was gone, right? So I walked over to the computer he was at. I was like, what the fuck was he hiding? <laughs> and I look, and he didn't even close the tab. Like, literally all he could have done instead of, like, hugging the monitor and trying to hide it, he could have just hit X. All you gotta do is hit X, and it goes away. I don't even know if he knew how to use a computer. But I look, and, uh, <laughs> Pornhub.com just opened huge on this monitor. And <laughs> I remember to this day the fucking title of the porn video he was watching. I look at the video, I see the thumbnail, and I just see chubby girl gets her hairy pussy <laughs> dicked and i was like <laughs> i was like why out of all the places to use a computer and watch fucking porn he goes to best buy and does it in the public and out of all the videos man he clicks on chubby girl gets her hairy pussy dicked now i'm not trying to judge for what kind of porn he likes like you could literally like any porn you want you could watch aliens like fuck each other i don't care but like the fact that he opened it in best buy Anyway, I'm on the floor at this point. Like, I'm laying down in the middle of this aisle at Best Buy, just dying laughing. And my friend walks over, and he sees it, and he starts laughing. We're both just sitting there on the ground, fucking dying. I don't know what the fuck was so funny about it. Like, porn itself doesn't make me laugh. But seeing fucking porn opened in the middle of a store like that, and the way he just ran away, I think he was trolling us. Anyway, I'm laughing, and an employee comes over. And I'm like, fuck. And I just, like, get serious all of a sudden, right? And he's like, what are you guys doing over here? And I was like, oh, nothing. We were just checking out the MacBooks, right? And me and my friend get up off the ground really quick. And the guy looks over at the computer and he sees the Pornhub. And he literally says, he goes, what's that? And he looks really close. And I just see him stare at it for like a good two seconds. And I could tell he read the title. I bet he read it in his head just like I did. I'm like, oh, what's that? What's that say? Wait, let me read that. Chubby girl gets her hairy pussy dicked. Oh my God. And I just see him look at it. And his facial expression goes from like, how can I help you to what the fuck did I just read? And he looks at me and my friend and just goes, leave the store right now. And me and my friend just look at each other and I see him like just trying to hold it in. Like he looked like he was trying to hold in the biggest shit of his life. Like he wanted to laugh so bad. And so did I, right? And we start walking towards the front of the store. And I hear him say, he's like, don't come back to you guys are mature. And we walk out through the slider doors and I just let out the worst sound my body has ever created. Like I was just laughing so fucking hard. It probably sounded like a dying flamingo, right? And I'm just sitting there, me and my friend crying in the parking lot and we go to his car and we just sit there in his car for like 20 minutes and just couldn't stop laughing and yeah we drove away went back to my house that whole day was just fucking 
reminiscing on that moment and laughing. And then we actually went back two days later to uh, get something else. So we didn't get kicked out for life or anything. It was just a really fucking funny one day, like, get kicked out thing. But yeah, this kid watched some porn in a store, got away with it, got us kicked out. Probably the best prank he never even knew he pulled. And who knows, maybe it was a troll all along and that was all part of the plan. Like, I'm going to get these kids kicked out. Like, you know what I mean? Who knows? I don't fucking know because we didn't see him again after this. But really fucking funny story and I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's pretty much the end. If you did like it, you laughed, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Peace. Straight. My boss is a fucking bitch. Matter of fact, you can tell that hoe I fucking quit. I just got a dollar for a raise. What the fuck is this? I can make more money on the train. Doing fucking flips. Barely got enough to go and break. Eat some fucking chips. And you always wonder why I'm late for my fucking shift. I don't smile enough. I know. My shirt's never tucked. I know. You should write me up. I don't give a fuck about emails, about retail.